threading the machine. The first step in threading the sewing machine is to transfer thread from the spool of thread to the bobbin. To do this, remove the spool holder from the spool pin, tilt the spool pin, and place a spool of thread on the spool pin. Place a spool holder at the end of the spool of thread to secure it in place. Using two hands, grab the thread and go around the outside of the silver thread guide and pull tight. Take the end of the thread and go from the inside out through one of the tiny holes in the bobbin. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Turn the light on your sewing machine. Slide the bobbin winder spindle to the right. Grab the thread, hold it three to four inches above the bobbin, push down on your foot pedal, and watch the bobbin as it begins to fill. You'll notice it go up and down the bobbin. When it's done that a couple of times, you can stop, take your scissors, and remove the thread that you've been holding on to cutting it all the way to the bobbin. You can continue to wind the bobbin by pushing down on your foot pedal to the desired amount. When done, stop, slide your bobbin to the left on the bobbin winder spindle, remove the bobbin, take your scissors, and cut the thread so it's separated from the spool of thread. You have now finished winding the bobbin. The second step in threading the sewing machine is to thread the top of the machine. Begin by placing your spool of thread on the spool pin using a spool holder to hold it in place. Using both of your hands, grab the thread and go around the white thread guide at the top of the machine. Follow the arrows and numbers. Number one thread guide says to go down the right hand side of the machine. Number two, you go over and back up the left hand side. When you get to the top, at the thread take up lever, go from right to left and pull forward. Stop at this point, open up your machine see if you've done this part correctly. Pull on the thread and make sure that the lever moves up and down. Check to make sure that you've gone from right to left through the thread take-up lever hole and that your threads are not crossed. Thread guide number four is this silver part right here. It looks hard but all you need to do is go from right and slide it to the left and it ends up in thread guide number four. Thread guide number five is this silver part right here. Take your thread and go back on the left hand side and pull forward. Close your machine and now you're ready to thread the needle. We leave the light off for threading the needle for your safety because your fingers will be close to the needle. To help with threading, put your presser foot down to give your fingers more mo room to move around. Take your scissors and make a clean cut, and then thread your needle from front to back. If it's helpful for you to put a piece of paper behind so you can see the hole, feel free to do that. Also, help, have positive thoughts help. Once you've threaded the needle, you are finished with step two. The third step in threading the sewing machine is to put your bobbin in the bobbin case. Take your finger and slide it from left to right over the bobbin cover release button. Remove the bobbin cover. Put your bobbin in so that it's turning counterclockwise. Pull on the thread to confirm it's moving the opposite way of the clock. 
Then you're going to take your thread and put it into two notches. The first one is at the six o'clock position. Hold the bobbin with one finger and slide it into that first notch and continue sliding to the left until you hear it click into the second notch. That's the end of step number three. The final step in threading the sewing machine is called draw up the bobbin. We're going to use the analogy of going fishing. The top thread, in this case the red thread, is the fishing pole. And the bottom thread, the purple one, is the fish. And we're going to bring that fish up through the hole underneath the presser foot in order to begin sewing. To do this step, you'll need to have the sewing machine light on. Hold on to the fishing pole. Press the up-down needle position button once while you're holding on to the pole. The hook, or the needle in this case, goes down into the water searching for a fish. Push the up-down needle position button a second time and the hook returns, the needle returns to the up position. Pull on the fishing pole and you'll see the big purple fish coming up from underneath to the surface. At this point we need to get the fish or the thread all the way out of the water. To do this you'll want to turn off your light because your fingers will be near the danger zone grab the thread, the purple thread, and pull it up. And now you can see that the thread has come from the bobbin up through that hole. We're not quite ready to begin sewing yet. We need to take both of these threads, place it underneath the presser foot, and push them to the back. Place the bobbin cover over the bobbin case and you have now successfully threaded the sewing machine.